Okay, so to start this one, we're going to put a series of measurements along one side of the uh, focal points. I'm going to go from F2, and I'm going to just put a measurement every 15 millimeters. I'm just going to label them A, B, C, and D. All right. I'm then going to take my compass. I'm going to measure the distance from V1 to A, so all the way across the axis. And then I'm going to put my compass to F1, and I'm going to swing an arc. I'm just going to keep it kind of light construction work. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop it across the other side, because I want to repeat the process on the other side. So we have two arcs there with a radius of V1 to point A, and then we have swung them arcs from F1 and from F2. This time I'm going to measure from V2 to point A, so that's shorter distance. And again from F2 I'm going to swing an arc above and below the axis until it crosses the bigger arc. And I'm going to do the same on the uh, left hand side, so from V1, sorry from F1 until it crosses the bigger arc above and below the axis. So now I have got two points. I'm just going to grab a pen here and label them. So I've got two points on each of my hyperbolas now. I'm going to repeat the process from V1 out to B. And again, go back to F1 to swing the big arc. And go to F2 to swing another big arc. And I'm going to measure from V2 to point B. And again from F2 I'm going to swing a smaller arc above and below the axis to cross that bigger arc. And from F1 to do the, the same thing. Okay. And again that gives us two more points on each arc. Or on each uh, curve. And again, we're just going to repeat the process V1 to C, and then from uh, F1, swing the arc, and from F2, swing the arc, and then from V2 to C, and swing the smaller one. So you're just repeating the same process over and over with all of the points. And make sure and mark each point as you find them so that you know where they are. You don't get them mixed up. And last one, V1 to D. Because it's only a portion, we don't need to do a, a huge amount of points. And then from V2 to D. So you're taking your measurements from the vertices and drawing your curves from the focal points. And then all that's left to do afterwards is to join the dots. Yeah.